Hi everyone, I'm going to react to Avatar The Last Airbender Season 3, Episode 6, The Avatar and the Fire Lord. They gonna come face to face? Or are we gonna be seeing some kind of story parallel, paralleling each other? I don't know, we'll see. And last chapter, episode, last episode, we saw... Azula and Mai and Ty Lee and Zuko go to the beach and there was this um, scene where they sort of like revealed a little bit about each other and why they are the way they are. And then you had Aang over there being kissed by the three-eyed guy that Zuko hired, but they were able to get away from him. So yeah, that's what happened last episode. And before we get into this one, if you guys are my reaction, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and please consider supporting my Patreon at patreon.com slash filmini. And now let's start this episode, and here we go. Okay, guys, in case the reaction gets blocked and I had to cut out the reaction itself, you can just look in the pinned comment in the comment section where for the link to the reaction highlight itself. So you can just click on it, watch it, and then you just come back for my review. Earth. Fire. Yeah. Uh, next time I'm gonna try to pay attention to who does the water and the fire. No, fire I already know. Um earth. Even air. I don't think it's Aang that was doing it, but I don't know. See her smiling in the background. Oh god, this guy getting ripped. Okay. Yay! Yay! Finally, gonna know if uh the the, the father was like is the one that killed him, or what the heck happened? I hope. Oh, maybe not, because it said great grandfather, and the other one is grandfather. I feel like that's not true. So it's Susan's story that they will, they're gonna tell. Okay, I gotta study for a second, <laughs> but no. Ah, no hair. Ah. I'm tempted to think that is um. Uncle Arrow that sent him the message, but I don't know. Run. Oh, you don't need you saw how it works. Uh, they use fire, right? Oh, then I see that. You know what? Let me stop talking. I'm missing stuff. I love how to open their doors, like any tribe, they use their whatever element they've been on nation, the nation, whatever. Oh my goodness, they were friends. <sighs> the hey. Hmm. Don't tell me the girl's gonna come between them two. I doubt it, but I don't 
Pues si queda así. What happened? You were friends. <laughs> oh, this is the opposite of fire. Is that where, uh, what was her name? Was waiting for you mm -hmm. oh okay I thought he like went evil before he came back <laughs> <laughs> he liked her? Oh, my sister. Did you have to go that far? Can you just like, you know, what you did there will be like, I don't know. And then he's going to learn about the comet. Oh no. Okay, did you let her? You must have let her go, right? Dang. <laughs> For a second, I thought he was attacking him, but it was a volcano that was erupting, right? Oh, maybe. Keep up. Is he going to be leading the lava to the water? Oh. 
This is um why can't I remember? Appa. What is he doing? It's not he's not airbending, is he? He can't be airbending. What was that? <gasps> Catch him! How are you not supposed? Oh, he's gonna die, isn't he? Is he gonna let him die? So why did you even go there if you Oh, thing. That's you, baby. Oh. Oh. Boy. <laughs> Oh, it's gonna end, of course. Wow. I, 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 when I heard that your mother's grandfather was grand, was Avatar Roku, I'm like, oh! It took like forever <laughs> for my brain to process that. I'm like, what, what, what does that mean again? So I, I like, I went back <laughs> to that part to fully absorb it. Oh my goodness. I love seeing this episode. Like seeing the backstory. The, the title of the episode was um Avatar. The Avatar and the Fire Lord or something. Yeah, the the Avatar and the Fire Lord. So I'm like, okay, this ain't gonna come face to face with um Avatar no Avatar. Um Fire Lord Ozai. Or are they gonna be telling the story paralleling, you know, Aang and Fire Lord Ozai. That's where my mind was, but it was sort of like the second one, but no, not really. <laughs> so they were friends. When, um, like they said they were friends and they were, you know, doing fire bending together and, and whatnot. And then there was this, this girl that came. For a second, I was confused. I thought, I don't know why, but I thought that the long-haired guy was the... Was he the long hair? I don't know. But he, Roku liked her, right? But he couldn't declare himself, right? And then when he came back, and then um, he was married to... He married her, right? For a second there, for a second, I thought that it was some kind of betrayal that uh, it was Sozan that liked her and then when Roku came back he 
they took her away from him and that's why created this hatred i was confused i don't know what my mind went there but that was totally not the case he was the one that was in love with her since the beginning and he came back he married her so no problem there okay when he came back and then um at first susan was like all oh, my subjects or whatever referred to me as fire lord or something but i'm like okay so did he go bad before avatar roku came back but then he's like but since it's you like you okay you my best friend they were still friends i'm like okay so it's not that but technically it was still that because he had his plan in mind before roku came back and when roku came back and then during the marriage he's like let me talk to roku took Roku somewhere else and it's like our oh, nation has been enjoying this peaceful and prosperous you know whatever and I want to extend that to the other nations and I'm like ugh Roku was not okay with that he's like no and this is the last time that I want to hear of this so he thought that was it but my guy was going behind Roku's back and conquer the Earth Kingdom. I feel like Susan, no Susan, Roku just wanted to go visit his friend, you know, in the Earth Kingdom. That's, that's probably where he learned Earth painting, right? And then he saw that he was conquered by um, Susan. So he went back and confronted Susan, and then he's like, displayed, you know, his avatar ness. But then he showed mercy to Susan since they were friends and they haven't spoken in like 25 years, I believe. And then when the volcano, they were asleep and then the volcano was erupting. For some reason, I thought that, I don't know, I guess my mind is not working tonight because I'm like, is um, Susan attacking like he, maybe the comet? See, my, my mind was not working. Like this, is, my, my reason is stupid. Like, I was thinking that the comet came and then um, Fire Lord Susan had this you know, burst of power and that's why he was attacking the village so that he can destroy Roku and the villagers or whatever so that he can continue with his plan of war domination. But no. See, stupid. It was the volcano that was erupting and people were fleeing. And Roku went back to try to stop the volcano. And he was doing all right at first. You know, he created this, those giants. Um, I was say hole, but hole is not the word. Trench. I don't know, up to the water to sort of like divert the lava into the water. But uh, it was overwhelming him. And then... Um, Osuzan wasn't was watching that from the distance, and then he went in. He's like, "Need help?" I'm like, oh, yeah, he came back, and then uh, at one point, Susan was gonna die or something, and then Roku saved him. And they were running sort of like away from the thing, and they like Sus Susan Roku was telling Susan not to breathe in the fumes because he was toxic. And then we like when I saw that whole bunch that he so I'm like, yeah. Man. It's not going to work out for him. And he fell on the floor and he asked Susan to help him. And then in that moment, Susan is like, if you're dead, uh, my plan for world domination is not possible. So he left him to die there. And I'm like, what was the point of you even going there if you were going to leave him to die in the first place? Like he was clearly Roku. The, the volcano was going to overcome Roku. Like, he was not going to be able to deal with it by himself. So, if you had just left Roku do his thing, he would have died in there. But then, you came all the way from your castle, or whatever. Went there, was helping him with the volcano. And then, now you're going to leave him to die. I'm like, really? Okay. So, he left him to die. And you had Zuko, like this letter that came to Zuko, telling him that he needed to learn about the history of his great-grandfather, how he died or whatever. And he figured where the history was being kept. He went there 
And then he read all that. And then he's like, he went back to, uh, oh, he, he was him with a sentence. Uncle Iroh. Like in my mind, I'm like, he must be Uncle Iroh. Like, like that's right. Uh, the sent him the message, the letter, because who else would, would it be? So he went there and confronted Uncle Iroh. And he's like, I already know the story. So this is, you know. And I really also thought that it was the story of Susan. So when he said that I already knew the story, you know, he still was still alive or whatever after that. And that's when I will really revealed, revealed that Roku was his great grandfather as well. I'm like, yo, yo. And that he has this good and evil battling inside of him ever since the beginning. It's his destiny, you know, and all that. I'm like, Ugh. so far he's letting the evil side win. Which is why he's getting on my nerves. And then when Aang came out of his avatar state after the story was done. And then he told the others that the story was basically a story about how everybody deserves a second chance. That there's good and evil inside everybody, even the Fire Nation. And uh, how all oh, friendships. Yeah, it's about friendships. Because after um, Roku left... To go to the other nations to learn all the other types of bending. He met um, Mok Yasuo. They were friends. Oh my like, yay. And then he met um, this Earth Master. Uh, I, they say his name, but I didn't write it down. They were friends as well. Even the water. I don't know if he says that the water he was friends with the water tribe master. I don't know. But yeah, he made friendships along the way and even Aang when he was became the avatar or whatever. He also became friends with Macchiato and when he said that sometimes friendships transcend lifetimes or you know, oh, that's cool. And um Tuff wanted to hold on to that because she has these friends now and she wanted to you know believe that their friendship transcends lifetimes or whatever. I'm like oh I, and Sokka was making some kind of sub- sarcastic comment about that and then like yeah holding hands with the others too as well I love this episode like I really do seeing the backstory <laughs> at first when they said great grandfather I don't know why I, I was hoping that it was gonna be um, the story about Ozai's father and how he died because we didn't really see how that ended you know it's sort of like cut away from that scene and you see Azula there looking at what's happening but didn't actually show it so I was hoping that that's what it was about but then when I started thinking they said great great a uh, great grandfather that was the death of his grandfather not the great so I'm like okay well No, I'm not gonna make that, that, that. I'm not gonna think about it because I'm always like I'm about to. I was about to think about the the tree, the family tree of you know Susan. Because if Susan is the great grandfather, that means he gave birth to um, Ozai's father, right? But then I was trying to see from um, the mother's side that the grand. Oh, I don't know. Let me just shut up. Let me shut up. I, like, I was trying to think, like, how is um, Zuko's mother? You know what? I'm, I'm going to shut up. Thank you guys for watching. And if you like this reaction, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe. And if you want to see my reaction to the next episode, you can do so by checking out my Patreon at patreon.com slash filmini. And you can also see the full info of this reaction there as well. So, thanks for watching. And I will see you next time.